Thank you for everyone's comments on my giveaway video. That giveaway is good through Friday of this coming week. Um, in part, I was asking for that comment to kind of know what kind of videos and tutorials you guys are interested in and what keeps bringing you back to my channel. So those are the type of tutorials I'll continue doing. So thank you so much for your feedback. That's very important. And today I'm going to do another mixed media project that will go into that little journal I have. The reason why I considered doing this is there's a little phrase that my daughter had said the other day that I thought was just hilarious and would be perfect to add to my mixed media journal since I kind of use it as a personal journal as well. So her little phrase was, I've been sick this week. She says, Mom, if you keep sniffing, you're going to get a highness infection. So I thought this would be pretty funny to go ahead and put into a mixed media journal just as a way of saving those little funny phrases that our kids say from time to time. So what I'll be using today is what sounds like a lot of people's favorites right now are the Gelatos by Faber-Castell. I um, will probably use a little bit of muslin. I also have some vintage lace from a friend that I'll use on it. So the stamps that I'm going to use is first these by Tim Holtz. I've always loved this bird stamp and I happened to find it on clearance at um, Hobby Lobby or something like that. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. And so I'll be using the bird on the branch and I'm going to put a little crown on her. And I'm also going to use the chandelier and it just really has a nice variety of stamps. Then I also found this one the other day at Michael's from Seven Gypsies. Again, it has a chandelier as well but it also has these cute crowns. So I thought I would use that to put on top of the word highness. Anyway, um, let's put this mixed media page together.
Hi everyone. Well, today is kind of a random catch-all video. I've actually been sick for almost two weeks with strep, so I have just been not really feeling well enough to do my usual crafting. So this is probably one of the ugliest pages I've done ever, but I decided I'd go ahead and show it because I have managed to somehow film the whole thing anyway. So if nothing else, maybe it'll just give you some ideas with some techniques of things you can try out just because I just was experimenting with a whole bunch of stuff. I finally stitched on my paper with the sewing machine with different types of stitches. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, then I used the gelatos over the stitching because that was white thread and made it purple. Um, I used gel medium from Golden, the clear gel medium, and adhered this vintage lace to it there. And then I just got a new stamp set from Seven Gypsies, and it had these cute little chandeliers, so I put those up there. Um, so I put a little bird here with a crown on top, and the, it's stamped first in black, and then it's stamped in brilliance. There's some gesso in the background, and then there's a lot of gelatos. The entire background is done with um, the red pack of gelatos. Um, it has like purples and hot pinks and light pinks in it. So that's all that is, and uh, like I said, it's not one of my most proud pieces, but it does have a lot of different mixed media things that I just happened to try out and experimented with. Okay, so now you can see the main table has been cleaned off. I don't think I've shown the scrap room probably in over a year. So I thought I'd go ahead and do just a very brief update. If you want to see more of the details, go ahead and see my previous videos that I took probably a couple years ago now. But the newest thing we've added out is we took out the sewing machine. It was under that table over there for the longest time because the tension wasn't working, but I managed to fix that this weekend, and now it works perfectly. So there's my sewing machine, and then I moved the big shot back over to this table just because it has a vinyl top. It's a lot easier to clean and take scraps off than it was off of that cloth table back there. And so this is where I end up filming some of my videos, although more of them are usually filmed on the other table. And then you'll see this shelf has had a lot added since I first started. Um, my Sizzix dies in particular, I've gotten a lot more. One of my newest favorites is the Tim Holtz tag die. I finally went and ha got ahead, went ahead and got the tabs one as well as the tag. This shelf is probably the most congested at this point because I've expanded this area so much. I kind of cram my Copic markers over here. These are some project boxes, but all of this are stamps that I've collected like at Tuesday morning and other places like that. And then, of course, we have the Prismacolor pencils down here. There they are. And then the Prismacolor watercolor pencils are down here. So it's kind of a hodgepodge of a whole bunch of things that i got to organize. And then up there I put my 31 Days Journal and maybe eventually I'll put my projects up there. <clears throat> and so then down here, this is my mixed media journal. Let me go get that page. Sorry, hope I'm not making you dizzy. Okay, so this is just going to go in here like so. Down here are the goodies. So this one is going to the winner of my giveaway um, that will be announced on Friday. This, I don't know if you're going to see this video, Robin, with Enjoy Stamping, but I finally found an envelope big enough for that stamp set. So that is going out to you this week. And so this is where I keep the Cricut, and this is my old laptop. Um, it tends to, the hard drive is going, so I just use it only to cut out things with my Sure Cuts A Lot program on the Cricut with the SVG files. Um, it can at least stay on long enough for me to get that done. And then this is where I keep the cinch and the laminator. This is a Webster's page haul I still have to put away. And then my Martha Stewart board. 
And all of this you've seen before, um, but down here is where I add the washi tapes and different things I've collected. I have more of them, but some of those are still with my cruise album, which you'll see in a second. So then we turn slowly without making you sick. This is where I do most of my crafting is right here. And so this is just a bin that I store some older tools in, and this is still a stack that I have to sort through. However, that's a lot cleaner than it was, and I did put away a lot of things. And just to clarify, I do share this scrap space with my two daughters. They are 10 and 12. So we all use this, and we have a ton of friends over all the time for crops as well. So there's our paper storage. Everything marked in red is all the drawers they're allowed to use the paper in, as well as when friends come over to crop. That's kind of the freebie drawer where they can use anything. This is down here is my poor cruise album that has still been neglected. I think I've gotten to like day three or four, and I have to finish that one. And then this table is cleared for making the next videos. This has been the greatest find that I've had for my stamps. It's by Recollections, and I had wished I got it so much sooner than I did. It's the stamp cleaner, and it looks horrific, but it works, and you can use it over and over. Um, I guess Stampin' Up! made what's called a Stampin' Scrub, and I, th I think it's the same premise. Um, one side is wet, and then the other side is dry. But with this one, it's only this one pad, and you wet it, and you can wet it over and over just a little bit, the section that you're going to use, and it cleans stamps, it cleans blocks like you wouldn't believe. My blocks were in such pitiful condition, but it cleaned them off really well for me to where I don't have to be embarrassed to use them on my videos anymore. So this is probably the area that keeps adding the most. I have these little bins. And this is what I store my gelatos in. It's just something from the container store. It was an extra container I ha already had on my desk over here. Those are the perfect pearls and all my Lindy Stamp Gang Magical Micas. Um, alcohol inks, distress inks. These are just some miscellaneous little sprayers that I fill and put whatever colors I feel like at the moment. All the golden mediums, gels, and gessos are here. All my glues and brushes, ATG, gel pens for mixed media, I can get to really easily right there. And then just a few punches that I grab all the time. And of course a hair tie because my hair always gets in the way when I'm in the middle of a project. So, and then you probably see me use this a lot. My melting pot, the hot glue gun, glue sticks, crocodiles, all that kind of goodness. All right, so that's the newest update of the scrapbook room. It still has a lot of room and can still probably use a lot of organizing, but um, that's where I do my projects.